Pharma has been in the thick of things and even as Indian Pharma stocks uh, have gone out of favor this year, there's a steady buying in multinationals. What's setting them apart? Darshan has done an analysis and Darshan, why is investor interest shifting to MNCs? Yeah, so basically it was interesting because if you're looking at it, counters like Sanofi are trading at fresh lifetime high, while counters like uh, Lupin and Dr. Reddy's and Orbindo are trading near, near lows. So basically to just give you a divide of what's happening. So look at the year-to-date returns. So Sanofi, Pfizer, Abbott have given positive return. Novartis is still well. GSK Pharma has given negative returns. The Nifty Pharma index is down almost 10%. Sipla, Sun, Dr. Reddy's, Cadilla, Lupin, Oro, all of them have given negative returns. Sun, in fact, because of Halol, there was a bit of recovery. Otherwise, this would have been even worse. So, so it, it, it seems clear that where the money is flowing in, in the pharma stocks. Now, let's take a look at, uh, you know, the valuations. Uh, MNC pharma companies still continue to trade at high valuations. They've come off from the highs that they were earlier. But still, look at the valuations of the Indian counterparts. They are, at, see, the counters like Orbindo are trading at valuations of 12 times next year. Lupin, Cadillac at 20 times. But yet, money seems to be moving away to the expensive pharma stocks where performance is now being seen. Now, if you look at what's happening as far as the job margins are concerned, the margins at one point of time where the domestic pharma companies were enjoying margins in excess of 25 to even as high as 35-40%, they have come down to levels of as close as 20%. And the MNC pharma which were making single digit margins or low teens margins, they have been able to move up their margins significantly. So performance is clearly been seen in these multinational pharma companies. Now look at the EPS. The EPS for the last quarter has been extremely dismal for the Indian companies. This is just and I'll show you a comparison of this versus last year. And look at the EPS that you know the MNC companies have given. Obviously the face value differs so we're not taking the EPS. Now let's take a look at the MNC valuation as far as the EPS is concerned. Now we have taken it as full year as last year because some of them follow a calendar year. Now what happened Sanofi in the last full year did a 141 rupee EPS in the last quarter did they did 33 so if you're looking at the last quarter and you try to annualize it seems that most of them will will be able to come out with EPS number in excess of what they did full year last time around like in an abort they did 54 and they did 130 last time around so if you annualize this they, they could be able to do anywhere between 180 to 200 similar is the case with Novartis they did 7 they did la 19 last time around so the EPS numbers definitely shows that they could in the last quarter if you analyzed it shows a better earning now look at what the M Indian Pharma company did apart from Sipla which has been doing well Sun Pharma did an EPS of 29 full year last quarter they did just two rupees now look at what Lupin did 56 last time around in the last quarter they did just five similar is the case with Cadilla or Bindo. so it seems that most of them won't be able to exceed the guidance uh, uh, margins that they did last time around so there is clear underperformance as far as the Indian pharma companies are concerned now the important factor what is working to the benefit of the MNC pharma companies the first factor is that there are no foreign regulatory worries because they cater basically to the Indian market they oversee sub their parent uh, cater to the overseas markets the dividend rates are extremely high they continuously pay dividends the dividend rates are better and the return ratios are also quite superior for the MNC pharma companies nextly improving financials and most of the companies are debt free in fact all the MNC companies are debt free high promoter hold and cash on the books. That's not the case with the Indian pharma company. Domestic growth is faster than the international growth. Beat the Indian companies like a Sun Pharma Lupin. If you take a look at the numbers, the domestic market has been growing in double digit while there has been decline in, uh, you know, the foreign, uh, as far as the US and other income. Now, this is important. Price control, the NPPA price control, the note ban and GST reset the base lower for the, for all the companies in the domestic market. And that benefited, so it seems that the worst is over for companies catering only to the domestic market and that is why Sipla was able to perform much better because it has a high chunk of domestic business. Apart from it, uh, what is ailing the domestic markets? Firstly, the big point that is talking is that, you know, there is competition, there is significant amount of US pricing pressure and that is impacting their financials. The other factor that you need to watch out is that regulatory scrutiny is extremely high. Uh, years and years, you know, uh, Sun Pharma's plants have not been cleared. Uh, you know, some of Vokart's plants have not been cleared. So they're not able to get out of this. Cadillac was the only 
only one that actually get or got out of it but that also took so many years weakening financials with global uncertainty that is the clear case as far as some of the domestic pharma companies are concerned apart from it there is no clarity on future drug pipeline because the US FDA is giving more and more generic competition is coming in significantly that will make the foreign markets much more uh, you know unattractive for them unless they have specialty product and because of that they have to do high R&D investments which the MNC pharma does not have to do and that is actually impacting their margins also significantly so so if you see the comparison of what's happening clearly the divide seems to be moving in favor of the MNC when pharma Indian pharma is not performing investors seem to be shifting to MNC pharma companies wow. and Darshan um, just uh, off the cuff if you if you have an idea what about Indian companies which only have the domestic operations have their numbers largely been unimpacted unlike the ones with global exposure yeah, so, like so if you if you saw Cipla huh. like Cipla had had the had this decent returns uh, it's not it, it's trying to grow in in the US market but it has a sizable domestic presence so if you see the performance of Cipla it's been better among the others the financials were much better because the Indian market is growing certain companies like Alchem which still have a sizable uh, Indian operation they, they they are doing well for themselves for their companies like uh, Eris Life and Loris Labs and all of them have a India specific a lot of India specific work. so they seem to be doing better what the problem is that companies with high US exposure and European exposure they are actually facing a lot of brand so domestic market is anyway growing at in double digits while US like some of the companies the year on year decline was as high as 35 to 40 percent right. so that I think uh, and, and uh, that is why you know money seems to be shifting towards MNC farmers well, that's an interesting divide and something that I don't think too many people have spoken about. Interesting analysis. Darshan, many thanks for putting that into perspective.